Hello and welcome to module number two, an introduction to Scrum as part of the People Search Scrum Master One certification training from One World Training. In this module, you can expect three questions in the exam. Note that we saw Scrum earlier as the most popular agile approach. So the remainder of this training and course will focus specifically on Scrum. What is Scrum? Scrum is a lightweight framework that helps people, teams and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions for complex problems. This definition is per the, as per the 2020 Scrum guide. So we have the reference at the bottom from Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland, the co-inventors of Scrum. Scrum guide, the definitive guide to Scrum, the rules of the game. This is an important document which you need to go through for exam preparation. However, we have you well covered uh, with that in this course. The Scrum framework, by the way, is purposefully incomplete because it only defines the parts required to implement Scrum theory. Scrum is built upon by the collective intelligence of the people using it. Rather than provide people with detailed instructions, the rules of the Scrum guide their relationship and interactions. Various processes, techniques and methods can be employed within the framework. Scrum wraps around existing practices or renders them unnecessary. Scrum makes visible the relative efficacy of current management environment and work techniques so that improvements can be made. Let us take a look at a brief history of Scrum. Scrum is not limited to a specific process or set of techniques, but it is a framework within which you can employ various processes and techniques. As such, Scrum, just like all frameworks, is best adopted when tailored to your own specific environment. Jeff Sutherland, one of the co-inventors of Scrum, believes that Scrum is a framework with a set of best practices learned over 50 years. Ken Schwaber, another co-inventor of Scrum, agrees as well with this and gives a good analogy of comparing Scrum with playing chess. And that is, you can read the official rule book for chess. The moves, the players, the sequences, the scoring, etc., all are specified. Learn them. Then you can play chess, as per Ken Schwaber. So a brief history of Scrum. Scrum definitely is one of the greatest inventions in the agile world and also the most popular framework. But this popularity comes with a great responsibility and when abused leads to controversies. The history of its invention itself is a topic of debate. Some believe that Jeff Sutherland, John Scumniotales, and Jeff McKenna invented Scrum in 1993. And there are others who vouch for Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nonaka's inventing Scrum in 1986. At this site, it says Ken Schwaber and Mike Beadle invented Scrum, but Beadle himself declares that he learned the method from Jeff Sutherland. According to him, Jeff Sutherland invented Scrum and later introduced it to Ken Schwaber. So we have a lot of dots to connect. And in this article, it is concluded that Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nonaka from Japan came up with the initial concepts of Scrum. And this is interesting to note, including the word Scrum itself in their white paper, the new product development game. Sutherland applied these concepts from the white paper and fine tuned it. Then together with Schwaber, they collectively presented their experiences during the Uppsala 1995 conference. Subsequently, Schwaber and Beadle attempted to communicate Scrum through their first Scrum book, Agile Software Development with Scrum. Ever since then, the community started growing and they wanted to create a platform to bring them together. And that led to the birth of the Scrum Alliance and the Certified Scrum Master Certification. But controversies began about the transparency and the motive behind the Scrum Alliance, which resulted in the birth of Scrum.org. So the internet is filled with many theories about what Scrum is. Hmm. It's like the story of the elephant and the blind man. Hmm. And there are people who argue that Scrum is a process, but with the subtle difference that Scrum is not defined, is not a defined process, but an empirical process based on experience. And someone has already argued whether extreme programming and Scrum both should be called either method or methodologies.
Here is a small learning activity for you to try on your own. Write down the problem that you, your team or the organization is trying to solve. What is the project you're working on? What is the product you're working on? What is the operational issue you're trying to solve? And what is the outcome you or the business are seeking? The Scrum environment. Scrum requires a Scrum master to foster an environment wherein a product owner orders the work for a complex solution into a product backlog. A Scrum team then turns the selection of work into an increment of value during a sprint. The Scrum team and its stakeholders inspect the results and adjust for the next sprint. And this is repeated again. When we get to module four, we will address the concept of a product and its goal before we address the product backlog. However, uh, we would like you to think about the application of Scrum to what you do in the context of problem you are attempting to solve. Also, in the next module, we will address what does the Scrum team mean and what does members of Scrum team mean? Here, uh, what we note is the work environment will change when an organization adopts Scrum. There are keywords such as product backlog, increment of value, sprint, inspect, and adjust. And this will involve cultural shift we mentioned at the end of the first module on Agile. So we looked at the website with a brief history of Scrum. Here is a summary. First reference to a non-sequential approach was a 1986 paper entitled The New New Product Development Game. The suggestion was to stop running the relay race and take up rugby. Scrum, in short for scrummage, has tightly interlocked team members trying to move the ball down a field. And the reference at the bottom from Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nonaka, The New New Product Development Game. The authors here described a new approach to commercial product development that would increase speed and flexibility. Their inspiration came from case studies from manufacturing firms in the automotive, photocopier, and printer industries. The paper begins by stating, many companies have discovered that it takes more time and more than the accepted basics of high quality, low cost, and differentiation to excel in today's competitive market. It also takes speed and flexibility. This led the authors to suggest moving away from the sequential relay race approach to a holistic rugby approach where the team tries to go the distance as a single unit. The authors also stressed the importance of working as a team in complex product development in general, not specifically software products only. Note that the changes to this 2020 Scrum Guide were intended to support the idea that Scrum is for any type of product, not just software, as was noted in the paper as well. The research showed that outstanding performance is achieved when teams are small and self-organizing units of people. Teams can only achieve greatness when given room to devise their own tactics to best head towards shared objectives. Scrum is short for scrummage and comes from the sport of rugby, defined as a means of restarting play after a stoppage, which can occur for a variety of reasons. What is important as each team prepares to resume play is how closely linked the team members are. Each team is completely focused on the same objective, which is gaining possession of the ball. Time for you to make a note of any questions or here is information by which you can contact us if you need to. Moving on. This course material is based on the 2020 Scrum Guide, which is written by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland, the co-inventors of Scrum. It's the definitive guide to Scrum, the rules of the game, published last November 2020. It includes changes aimed at expanding the use of Scrum into areas of an organization beyond IT. The wording is more concise and less prescriptive to allow for adaptation. Jeff Sutherland, by the way, originated the first Scrum project in 1993 at Easel Corp. Sutherland, working along with Quinn Schwaber, developed Scrum as a formal process in 1995. In 2001, Sutherland and Schwaber, along with several pioneers of Agile thinking, converged at a ski resort in Utah 
to assess commonalities in agile methods the agile manifesto was created out of this group's consensus so yes scrum predates the agile manifesto the guide has since gone through multiple revisions with the latest being released in november 2020 the very first version of the guide was over 100 pages long this one is just 13 pages streamlining was the goal so that the guidance would be very straightforward and would help to demonstrate scrum's applicability outside of it terminology specific to it was changed 